So like the majority of people who go to the gym, I work a full-time job. I have to prep my meals in order to get the necessary nutrition that complements the work that I put into the gym. Now I've learned from previous experience that chicken, rice and broccoli, it doesn't satisfy the needs of my taste buds. So today I'm sharing two tasty and healthy high protein meals that you can use to improve your meal prep game. But first, we need to acquire some ingredients. We've made it to Big Tesco. We have to discreetly acquire ingredients because Tesco can be a bit iffy with recording. The first meal we'll be putting together is a diet cola chicken with rice recipe. And some of the ingredients include four large chicken breasts, 200 grams of sugar snap peas, three mixed peppers, one large roughly chopped onion or 100 grams of frozen onion for convenience, as well as two garlic cloves, Worcestershire sauce, balsamic vinegar and soy sauce. I will mention proportions of each later on. Tomato puree and tomato sauce with onions and garlic, as well as some dried mixed herbs, paprika and a 330 ml can of Diet Coke. Divided up evenly into four servings, this meal is roughly 660 calories with 119 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and 37 grams of protein. So to start things off, we'll grab ourselves a bowl in which we'll add four tablespoons of tomato puree, 120 grams of onion and garlic passata, one teaspoon of paprika, two crushed garlic cloves, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and 330 ml of Diet Coke, AKA the can. Place the bowl aside for a minute and we'll get into cutting our chicken breasts into large chunks. And finally, cut the three mixed peppers up also. So a bit of live action, we're gonna get a non-stick frying pan, stick it on there onto a high heat, relatively high heat, I'm gonna go for seven. That seems high enough to me. Non-stick spray, this is gonna be the slowest pan of all time. Man. Non-stick pan, non-stick spray. Once the pan has heated up a bit, we'll throw our chicken in here. We'll also throw our mixed peppers in, and on top of that, about 100 grams to 120 grams of diced onion. We're gonna let this all sit here for about five minutes until everything starts turning into a light brown sort of color. And uh, we'll stir it around occasionally so every ingredient can get a bit of action. And the one ingredient I forgot to mention, rice. We're gonna stick four bags of rice on the boil until it's ready, about 12 minutes. You can have this meal with mashed potatoes either, but my preference is with rice. And in the next meal, I'm gonna be using sweet potatoes instead, so we don't want too much of that potatoiness going on. So then, what's next? Is to put our diet cola sauce and pour it in to the rest of the ingredients in the pan. And we'll return that to a medium to high heat for the next 10 or 12 minutes. Now, the final touch to the sauce, once it's been sitting there for about 10 minutes, we are gonna throw 200 grams of the sugar snap peas into the mix and we'll leave that for another 10 minutes until it's ready. Okay, so for the next meal, we are making a healthy chili con carne with sweet potato wedges. So the ingredients we'll need are, of course, some sweet potatoes, 500 grams of 5% lean minced beef, two beef oxo stock cubes, some paprika, parsley, uh, a full onion because we are running out of frozen diced onion. So a bit of graft is gonna be have to put into this. 400 grams of chopped tomatoes, 400 grams of red kidney beans, 250 grams of chestnut mushrooms, and I'm missing a couple of things. Well, we, we also have some Worcestershire sauce, 
got some hot chili powder wherever I can find it lurking around. Ah. And I just went for some mild chili powder, but you can get hot chili powder if that is more to your taste. So, first step is to cut the sweet potatoes into the wedges. So, right here, I have 800 grams of sweet potatoes. So, I'm gonna assume that's gonna be enough for three servings. Um, in total, with two meals, there's gonna be seven servings, obviously, to make up all seven days of the week. There's four servings of the cola chicken, and there'll be three servings of the chili con carne with sweet potato wedges. So we are gonna cut it when these are cut into wedges and I'll be placing them in the oven. So we're gonna throw a little bit more of the uh, non-stick sunflower oil on top of the sweet potatoes. You can season them if you like. I'm just gonna you know, leave that sort of aspect of things out for a minute. We have preheated the oven at about 200 degrees, well I have a fan oven so whatever is the equivalent of that but whatever oven you have make sure you set it to that heat so we're gonna set the sweet potatoes into the oven for however long it takes for them to turn into wedges maybe about I don't know, 40 to 50 minutes while we crack on with the rest of the chili con carne next up is to cut the onion into small little diced pieces and add it to a saucepan over medium heat with two tablespoons of water. I, I imagine that it'll take me quite a while to get this all diced and nice up because I am not the most skillful when it comes to, you know, doing culinary things such as cutting things up. So we'll cut back to when I'm adding it to the saucepan. I'll also cut 250 grams of chestnut mushrooms into halves and quarters to be added to the mix later on. So after about 10 minutes, once the onions have got a bit soft and the water has been vaporized a little bit, we will add the 500 grams of lean minced beef. We'll leave it here for about three to four minutes. We'll break it up a bit as well before adding everything else to the mix and getting this chili con carne going. I have run out of Tupperware. There is some leftover chili to go into an extra piece of Tupperware to make that seven days of prepped meals. They've turned out very well, so I wanna give them a quick taste test and let you know my reaction. First up, the cola chicken. I'm actually really looking forward to the cola chicken because I've never had Coca-Cola in this form before. Mmm. That is certified pink, 10 out of 10. Next, we're gonna go in for the chili. <clears throat> Ooh, a little bit of a spicy kick to it as well. That is 10 out of 10. But obviously, you can only take my reaction with a hint of salt because I did cook it myself. So, I'm gonna introduce Neve now to also give these a little test. So, what do you feel like having first? This one, what is it? The chili. Oh, I see a mushroom. Okay. Okay, that one's right. It's not spicy though. You don't think it's spicy? Oh, well, to be honest, I have got the most sensitive tongue known to man. I'm just going in for the cold of chicken now. That really tastes like coke, doesn't it? What, do you get the, do you get the taste of coke off it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, that one's nice. So, oh, that wraps up the meal prep. Neve, what do you, what, which out of the two do you prefer? Okay, so the chili con carne is nicer than the die cook. That's because I don't like the rice. Fair enough. It just tastes like rice, but you can taste the coke. No, you can have either of these two in two separate forms. You can have the chili with rice, or you could have the cola chicken with mashed potatoes. Yeah, but with the sweet potatoes, it's nicer. That concludes it all. I'm gonna stick these all in the freezer and have them every day throughout the week, which I'm very much looking forward to. If you were to ask me, I'd say this is most definitely an upgrade on the chicken, rice, and broccoli, typical bodybuilder meals. And I'll also leave the full list of ingredients for each meal down in the description in case I came across slightly confusing. That concludes the video, people. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out some of my other videos as well. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe to the channel. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>